Catherine, I love you. You are my best friend. <laughs> Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when uh, it seems hard, when our love is simple and when our love is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in highest regard. I promise to show you the love you deserve as we grow old together. Are these things I give to you today and for the rest of our lives. Mark, I promise to love you always, to share in your joy and to comfort you in times of sadness. I vow to support your dreams and to respect our differences. I even vow to laugh at your corny jokes. <laughs> I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you. I get to run with you and climb with you. I get to share with you and live with you. But best of all, I get to love you today and every day. If you know Catherine, it's not hard to see why my standards for any partner to get the best friend stamp of approval were set extremely high. I was beginning to wonder if anyone would actually make the cut. Enter Mark Bukowski. For those of you that know Mark, uh, at times he can be a little bit, you know, compulsive, a little anxious, a little nervous at times, but uh, he's definitely a guy with a very big heart. I have to say that one of the best qualities I think that Mark has is that he's a very genuine um, person, individual, that uh, this is one characteristic, I think, also, too, that Catherine shares with Mark. I think that's also what uh, makes them form such a strong bond together. I'm so thankful to have found such an amazing friend in Catherine. She is one of the most thoughtful, caring, honest, selfless, and trustworthy people I have ever known. She continues to co inspire me with her compassion and drive. She's so fiercely competitive and puts 100% into everything she strives to accomplish in life, including her relationships. I'm sure many of you here can attest to that. So regardless, I've, uh, I've known Mark now for uh, the past, I think it's been about 15 years, and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's been a good 15 years. It was hard for me when I was watching both of them during the ceremony, and I think I can speak for some of the best men here that uh, maybe some of us were tearing up, but. Now, Catherine and Mark will have you believe that they met through mutual friends. Although this is technically true, in reality, it was Tankard Tuesday at the Outpost. Mark caught Catherine's attention using the classic, I have a super cute dog play. After a review of the photo evidence, arrangements were read for a dog walk date. Oakley may have been his in, but as I spent more time with Mark, I could understand what Catherine saw in him. This guy was incredibly kind, generous, and dare I say, punny. It was easy to see just how much he truly cared for Catherine. Good afternoon, and on behalf of Mark and Catherine, I welcome you to this special day. And I thank each and every one of you for being here today. The journey to get here today did take a bit of time. A meeting through friends at the LU Outpost, dog walking dates, that was the beginning of their love story. I'll tell a little story here. Like we were, uh, Mark was, uh, sorry, Mark and I spent the night one night. 
<laughs> Forgive me, I've had too many wines, but it's all John's fault. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, there was a couple of properties down here. And Mark told me um, that he planned to propose to Catherine. And I'm a person, you know, I, I've spent 15 years with a guy. Like, I know, I've, I feel like I've understood what kind of... Um, emotions and things that he's expressed to me, but this was one that felt very special. But he, he eventually revealed that he was going to propose to Catherine, and I just want Catherine, I want you to know that, you know, as his friend for such a long time, it was an expression of how much he, he cares about you. Therefore, by the authority given to me by the province of Ontario, I pronounce that they are now husband and wife. You may kiss. I think everyone here will agree that these two are a perfect match. From their shared appreciation of dog snuggles and cozy nights in around a campfire, to their passion for adventure and pushing themselves to the limits, I'll never understand what you guys see in trail marathons, but hey, good for you. I'm so glad that you found each other. It is my honor to present to you for the first time as a married couple, Mark and Catherine. At the end of the day, I think Mark's a very committed person. Um, when he starts something, he may not start something... Sorry, we joke about projects all the time. He may not always get them started. When he actually commits, he really commits. So that's a generalization, I think, for life. And I think that'll make him a great husband and maybe a father one day. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, I appreciate you and, uh, and I love you guys. So. No, we've you. got our whole lives, no ending this inside. Darling, all I want to do is be with you. And I know we've got our whole lives, no ending this inside. Darling, all I want to do is be with you tonight. It's been an honor to witness this partnership as it's grown stronger over the years. And I can't wait to see where this journey takes you as you embark on this new chapter of your lives together. I'd like to wish you both a lifetime of love, happiness, and new adventures together. Cheers.